How's it going guys, this is George here and today I am bringing you my first ever 2D Tuesday. This is my tutorial series, um, so let's get straight into it. What we're going to cover in today's tutorial is patterns and gradients. So we're just going to minimise this quickly. Um, and we're going to go ahead into Photoshop and we're going to open up um, just our normal uh, YouTube background template. What I'm going to do um, in these tutorials is I'm going to um, walk, you guys, walk you guys through steps um, in, in making a YouTube background and how I make my YouTube background. Um, so if there's anything you guys want to see from me, any type of tutorial, just drop it in the comment, uh, drop a comment um, down below. Just let me know what tutorials you guys want to see and I'm not expecting very many um, comments um, asking me what tutorial um, to do. So the likelihood is I will probably end up doing uh, what you ask. So um, let's get straight into it. We just open up our normal YouTube background template here. Um, we see we've only got a module and a background. So what we're going to do is first we're going to kind of we're going to cover gradients. Um, in personally in my YouTube backgrounds, as you guys might have seen, um, I tend to use quite a while. I, I favour blue is one of my is one of my favourite colours. So um, if we like double click on that layer here, we're going to bring up our layer style, um, our, our, our blending options. Not really blending options, really. What they call our effects, our layer effects. Sorry, not blending options. Um, and we're going to go to gradient overlay. So you see, we get a white to black gradient. And um, that's the that's the preset. So what I do with my gradients is if I find a gradient that I like, I what you do is you can just go new and then it'll it'll um it'll just magically appear there. So if you choose a gradient you like, you magically make make it magically appear there. See so that so then you can just quick select and see all these gradients. So I use this one quite a lot, it's one of my favourite gradients because the nice blending of blues, got purple, dark blue and orange. Um I wouldn't really use any of the preset gradients because they don't really look too nice in my opinion. I think it's best to have um, basically just one colour and then have it blade, like, blend like this um, from dark to light. So if we're going to go ahead and make our own quick gradient. Um, so we'll have, um, maybe you should make it an orange. So we're going to make a, a nice a nice bright orange going to a darker orange. You don't want to make it too dark. Um, you want the, um, the colours to be in, in contrast but not too much so um, it's still so it's noticeable but then uh, it's not too much so it looks too dark um, so we're gonna, just going to click OK there um, and we're going to go style we're going to go radial and here's your preview so you'll see there's a kind of like a, a glowing circle and to change the scale um, you can just move this so you make the orange glow bigger you, it really depends on um, how you make the background. Um, these these tutorials are completely um, up to you how you make them. I'm just telling you how I do it. And really, you want to focus the back, want to focus the background around around the main of the the top of the um, background. That's where you want most of your thing. So if we're going to go ahead and just move the um, move the gradient up, if you just click, hold, shift, and drag up, you'll see the um, the or the main orange bit move to the top. So you can see it was down here. It was down here ish before and now we've clicked hold shift drag it up and it moves there so we're going to go ahead and click ok there so you can already see we've got um, which is what I think is a quite a nice gradient um, obviously the thing is with art is it's completely subjective and it all depends on what you guys think is nice or what you guys don't think is nice um, but well, it's just a matter of opinion it's quite controversial so um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and make a new layer so if you're on a Mac you're going to have command shift N all at the same time and it will bring up this new layer box I believe for a PC it's just control shift N and it will bring one up there um, and then um, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, so my phone is triggering what we're going to do now is we're going to double click on that layer and we're going to go to pattern overlay so you won't see anything come up when you have pattern overlay um, I'm going to leave some patterns in the description for you guys to download but the thing is with 2, 2, 2D, um, 2D sorry, um, patterns is you really want them just to blend in you don't really want them to be um, too out there you just want them to, to blend into the background so they look kind of nice and just just, um, just subtle, just subtle undertones so normally I use a gradient, uh, sorry a pattern like this um, one that creates lots of boxes um, makes it look quite nice in my opinion so we're just going to click that, don't change in the settings, just going to click OK and now we're going to hit G to go to our fill bucket or gradient tool um, I always use shortcuts and then we're going to make sure our preset colour is white um, and then we're going to click, just click once and you sh it should when we put it up loads um, just bring something, up, something like this, um, don't worry um, this isn't a disaster, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our blending options I'm going to click, I'm going to go soft light 
and you'll see it will, it will make it it will damage it a little bit but then what we're going to do is we're going to click we're going to um, hit the keys a zero three and you see um, it will take down the opacity it will, um, for zero three and it'll take down the opacity a lot um, obviously you can play about with these patterns actually maybe we're going to want it a bit more than that maybe ten percent so just hit one on your keyboard and you see you can you can see the um, the pattern there already going to take shape. Um, if when you zoom out the um, the pixels aren't well, the pixels are too small to see, so um, crisply on the screen like this, so they'll make them bigger or like when you're here they'll make them lines. Um, so when you're zoomed in, you you'll be, you will be able to see the pattern. And don't worry, on the background on the final image, you will still be able to see the background. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I uh, I want to cover in this tutorial. I want to make them quite short and brief. So um, I can do a lot of episodes, uh, I can bring them out every Tuesday because obviously this is going to be a weekly series. So um, if there's any tutorials like I said you, to, you guys want to see, just drop a comment below and the likely here is I will probably get around to doing that. Um, maybe not next week, I've got a few tutorials planned for next week. But if you want um, any tutorial at all, just go ahead and leave a comment. Um, this, if this tutorial has helped you in any way guys, I would really appreciate it if you could like it. Um, let's see if we can get 20 likes on this video, it's not very much but um, I really hope we can, um, that would be great uh, and I just want to thank you guys for all the support we've had on my recent videos um, and also I still, like I said in my last video go check out Layer 2D, um, this is this is what we're going to do in Layer 2D, stuff like this so if you want to see more, more 2D designs um, then definitely go check us out, we've got literally the best 2D designers around, we should get off our feet and going and um, then we'll be, we will be bringing you amazing content, seriously. Um, but anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, my name's George, or Zobe, and I will see you guys later.